आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ ए नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. Jodi ba kono chabuker dine tomar mushti jage jeno tomar rakto michile netaji puro bhage jeno tomar rakto michile netaji puro bhage On the 3rd of May 1939, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose declared the formation of the Forward Bloc. It emerged as a faction within the Indian National Congress after Netaji's resignation from the presidency of the Indian National Congress in 1939. Its constitution and program was adopted on the 22nd of June 1939 at its first All India session in Bombay, now Mumbai. In his presidential address Subhash Chandra gave the concrete plan of action for winning Poorn Swaraj in the immediate future. After the great escape of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose on the 17th of January 1941, forward bloc leaders and workers came under sharp torture and humiliation. A huge number of them were put in jails and confined. Forward Bloc was declared banned in June 1942. Forward Bloc, even when it was declared illegal, supported the Quit India movement in 1942. On the national level, leaders of the party like Sardul Singh, Sheila Bhadra, H V Kamath, R S Ruikar, K N Joglekar, Mukundalal Sarkar, U Muttaram Lingam Tevan were noteworthy. <laughs> After independence the party re-established itself as an independent political party with the main stronghold in West Bengal We commemorate freedom fighter Jwala Prasad who was executed by the British on the 3rd of May 1860 He belonged to Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh, and took a prominent part in the first war of Indian independence. He led the army at Kanpur and fought in several engagements against the British forces. He became the chief lieutenant of Nana Saheb and was also present at Satti Chaura Ghat with Tantya Tope, Azimullah Khan, Bala Saheb, and Tikka Singh when the British were leaving Kanpur. He was captured by the British and sentenced to death. He was executed on the gallows of Satti Chaura Ghat. Kanpur on the 3rd of May 1860 we salute this great martyr We also remember revolutionary freedom fighter Sushil Chandra Kumar Sen Gupta who was martyred on the 3rd of May 1915 He was born in December 1892 in Assam and later moved to Kolkata West Bengal During the trial of Aurobindo Ghosh in the Alipore bomb case when a sergeant was caning a group of agitated persons Sushil hit him and was caned for that for his being a member of the Manik Tala group of revolutionaries he had been set up in the Alipore bomb case but was acquitted After his release Sushil Chandra took part in the Balia Ghat raid in Kolkata and in the assassination of informer Nirod Haldar in February 1915 On the 3rd of May 1915 he took part in the Khalilpur raid in Nadia where two sub inspectors and some constables tried to stop them Sushil Chandra was shot dead by the police in the clash that ensued we salute the great martyr We also remember revolutionary freedom fighter Jagdish Chandra Rai who was martyred on the 3rd of May 1931 A resident of Dera Ismail Khan Northwest Frontier Province he came to Delhi and joined the revolutionary movement he was killed in an encounter with the police in a bus near Shalimar Bagh Lahore on the 3rd of May 1931 we salute the great martyr We also remember Indian National Army member Kesari Chand Sharma who was executed by the British on the 3rd of May 1945. A resident of Delhi, Kesari Chand was captured by the British forces during fighting near Imphal on the Burmese front. He was tried for waging war against the King Emperor in December 1944 and sentenced to death by a court martial. 
He was executed in Delhi jail on the 3rd of May 1945. We salute this great son of the soil. We also remember martyr Bhagat Hembaram who took part in the Quit India movement and Lathi Pahar agitation. Born at Santhal Parganas in Jharkhand, Bhagat was arrested on the 9th of May 1943 and jailed for 3 years. He died in Raj Mahal jail on the 3rd of May 1944. We salute the great son of the soil. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.